Water and wind from hurricanes can wreak havoc on places like the defunct fertilizer plant Piney Point. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau has been looking into how the site held up during Edalia. In the process, we've also found out more about the cost and the timeline to close that toxic site. Walt? Josh and Stacy, these images of toxic water spewing from Piney Point are still haunting. The first estimate more than two years ago to finally cap it was pegged at about $100 million. We found out we're well past that, so we wanted to know what you're getting for your money. As Adalia moved in, Piney Point shut down its deep well that earlier this year started injecting treated stack water below what we drank, more than 3,000 feet into the ground. We were always concerned about the level of the water. We went to court-appointed receiver Herb Donica, assigned nearly two years ago to close Piney Point. He was out of the state when Adalia hit. How closely were you watching the storm from New Mexico? Oh, every hour. The biggest issue is having the crew go all over the property looking for things that could take flight and become a missile. You could tear the stacks. You know, if uh, a piece of uh, tank or a piece of metal just went up in the air and came back down, it's like a knife. He tells me the storm caused only minor road erosion thanks mostly to planning and the deep well. The state's alleged mismanagement of the waste from the long-closed fertilizer facility is the focus of an active lawsuit filed by environmental groups. They remain concerned about the deep well and how sites like Piney Point are capped. There's really no economically feasible or environmentally sound way to close one and ultimately the taxpayers and, uh, and the environment uh, pay the cost uh, for having these operations in the state of Florida. Just over $62 million has been spent since October of 2021 when Donica took over. At that point, the cleanup had cost $71 million, bringing the total to more than $133 million so far. Here's what it's paid for since the breach prompted the state to relieve pressure on the southern stack by sending 215 million gallons of water into the bay. One of the four stacks has been capped, and work is now underway on the stack that ruptured. The job could be completed in just over a year by the beginning of 2025, according to Donica. And he wants to assure the public the water sent into the deep well is treated first and constantly monitored. So we're testing the water before, during, and after. I don't think there's anything else that can be done to make it safer. We're in the best position we've been in in 22 years. Now, others argue they can monitor it now, but we may not know the true impact for years to come. Donica says supply chain issues and inflation put the project way behind, but he adds the deep well has helped them catch up. Mm. Yeah, I think the not knowing for years to come is the part it's people are scary. having trouble yeah. with. Um, yeah. Any progress on the lawsuit you mentioned filed by those environmental groups? Yeah, I was surprised to see. I checked on it, and possibly on, fr on Friday, the two sides were sent a notice of mediation, and a conference is scheduled for next month. So they're going to mediate their dispute, but unknown is whether a mediator can bridge the gap between the environmentalists and the defendants are the DEP and bankrupt one-time owner HRK Holdings. So a big gap on what to do, but at least there is progress in closing it and progress in the lawsuit. That's some good news. All right, okay. thanks so much for that. Well, the Venice